Hi there. Congratulations on completing the first week of classes. I'm sure it was a little bit strange trying to get used to our new way of living, but I'm so proud that we have zero positive cases on campus and that we're in the green. It's impossible to expect a perfectly impenetrable bubble around campus, um, but restricting off-campus activities, especially in the first two weeks of classes, is our best measure for keeping COVID-19 off the hill. As we communicated in our return to campus guide, all students are asked to restrict off-campus travel unless absolutely necessary. That means doctor's appointments or family emergencies, shopping trips, dining at restaurants, and visits out of town are not absolutely necessary. Visiting bars is especially risky and is not permitted, so please don't do that. Use Instacart for grocery delivery and Grubhub for food delivery. We're working on getting some vendors on campus, so expect a few surprises in the coming weeks. Every time you leave campus and come in contact with people outside of our college community, many of whom likely have not been tested regularly, you risk bringing the virus back to your fellow students, to professors, staff members, and our food service workers. Students who must leave town overnight for any reason, including a family event, should notify my office, the Dean of Students office, in advance. If you travel to one of our restricted states, you're gonna to need to quarantine for 14 days at a hotel. And if you've gone to one of the states that's not restricted, you'll need to quarantine until you get two negative test results before coming back to campus. Thank you for all you've done so far to comply with our COVID-19 health and safety protocols so that we can keep the number of active corona cases at zero or at least enough to continue in-person instruction. A few of you have received a warning for violating our policies and should you be found responsible for a second violation, you will be asked to go home. Some of our first year students seem to be struggling with our rules and I know that our upper class students know what we lost when we needed to shut down and then send everyone home so suddenly. Nobody wants that again. So let's all work together to keep us safe. Don't hesitate to simply ask someone to comply. Hey, don't forget about your mask or can you back up a bit are perfectly acceptable ways to remind others to stay safe. So please continue to maintain appropriate distance and wear those face coverings whenever you're in any building, even if you're by yourself. For now, the only time you can have your mask off is if you're in your residence hall room or when you're eating and maintaining physical distance or if you're outdoors and able to do the same. So do your part to keep us at zero or keep us in the green. And so please take care of yourself and each other. Thank you so much.